This evening, I paint a straight line. I put some paint on a little guy, and I pointed an airbrush. Hey y'all, so today we use my airbrush. So I already have it loaded with Tamiya X20A and Tamiya Flat Blue. And we're just gonna kind of mess around. I've learned that it's very good to do this and all I'm doing is just kind of getting a feel for the brush itself. Uh, it is very, very good to do so, to kind of learn spray patterns and distances and stuff like that. And you're only gonna get better with time. And I'm just kind of messing around considering this is my first ever airbrush period. Should not be spraying, but you see, just pressing the trigger down, not back. That's no good. So let me adjust this. And that's simple. Take your guard off. Now it's just air, so I didn't have the needle seated completely. Alright, <clears throat> so now we've done a little Mephiston red with the with uh, Abaddon Black, and I'm going to attempt to paint my first ever model. Let's see. I have to turn the pressure down a bit. So I think a lot of my issue with this whole thing was I added way too much thinner to my paint, and that caused it to be extremely thin so I had to keep my air pressure low in order to keep it from splattering because even on I think it was 10 psi even with as little as I was doing if I even went just a slightest bit heavy it would spray it away and I could essentially instead of drying off the paint I could spray it away and I think a lot of that was my issue so I've got to get my ratios down So remember, do your layers in light misty coats, um, especially with as thin as this was, I had to do all of them in misty coats and that may have why it attributed to it being really flat at the end. Uh, but what you wanna start out with is a couple of mist coats and then slowly start to build your color up. I had my paint too thin so I couldn't do this. Now that we're finished with this, now we're gonna move on to cleaning the airbrush and these simple steps. So you're going to take your X20A, which I've put in this little bottle. You're just kind of 
squirm it down in here. Fill up your little vat. I know it's kind of hard to see. Cover your hole. You can take an old paintbrush and you're gonna kind of get that stuff out. And you're gonna have a clean cup or a paper towel. Kind of rinse this out best you can. And I will be actually cleaning this, cleaning this in a few minutes. All right, so now put a little bit more of that in there. Now I just take just plain water, fill it in there, rinse my brush off. lose anything else Make sure you definitely don't do that while you've got the uh, paint in there. All right, so let me get everything broken down. So what you're gonna do, take the needle cap off, take the needle chuck, loosen it. And very carefully pull your needle out. See, we've got stuff on the end of it. What you're gonna need to do is just kind of, if you look really, really closely, see that paint on the needle? You gotta get that off. I'm gonna take our X20A. I need to get some airbrush cleaner. Get some on the paper towel and the needle. Just kind of keep wiping. And then we've got that all cleaned off and I'll end up having to clean the needle. Take the needle cap off or I'm guessing that's what this is called. And we'll need a Q-tip and dab some X20A on there. Just to clean that all out. Get any residual out of here. 
That should be good. Now, we'll take our supplied tool. And apparently this is extremely easy to uh, to damage. Set it and I'll drop it. Put that back together. I'd say a lot of my issue was that because that was really loose. I should have checked that to begin with. That was my bad. I don't remember when putting a needle back in. Check doesn't need to be super tight. All right, <clears throat> so that is my first experience with an airbrush. I do have to say, other than the stark contrast that is the lighting or terrible lighting in my uh, work area, it's good for me, just not for the camera. Uh, I will have to say that this um, Mephiston Red and Abaddon Black mixture looks really really good it's a nice smooth coat it's not rough I don't see any spider webbing or anything like that let's see if we can zoom in it's a rather rather nice lay for my first ever time using an airbrush if there are any things that I did wrong or didn't do more of a proper way, uh, things that I missed, things that I overdid, whatnot, um, drop me a comment below in the comment section and uh, just let me know because this is my first ever time airbrushing. I kind of took the airbrush apart a little bit and cleaned it. Actually, I cleaned the whole thing. At least I hope so. I don't think there's any parts that I'm missing. Basically, what it boils down to is I've never airbrushed before until this evening. Um, it did take some getting used to, especially with the dual action. I would hold down, but I have a tendency to kind of go full bore, so I was holding down and going like this, and I didn't want to go too far, so I was holding it just barely to where there was not enough pressure to put paint out and the needle hadn't moved. That, and I didn't have the needle fully seated, so it wasn't creating enough of a flow past the air, the needle to let air flow past or let paint past. Uh, so this was definitely a learning curve. Uh, the needle seats itself. It will only go so far. If a, what I'm saying is correct, it'll only go so far. And then that's where you lock it in the chuck so it doesn't move back and forth. It just stays pushed up against and don't force things. Um, make sure you clean every aspect of this. Like, I'd say that that's pretty clean, even in down in there. I tried to make sure that I got everything out. Uh, I used a metric ton of Tamiya X20A, and I used water. Uh, everything is dried out, so I think this thing is ready to go. I guess I will find out completely when I go to spray next time. But I think I'm gonna play around with it more without worrying about a kit. I didn't have anything spare to, to work on, so I figured why not go ahead and base coat these guys. They were primed a while back, and so now that's what I'm going to do with these. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to end the video. Um, again, there's a link for this entire airbrush and uh, compressor combo. It is in the description below, and those are affiliate links. So if you click on those and purchase that through there, I get a monetary kickback at no extra charge to you. Uh, I also have a Patreon. 
and it is patreon.com forward slash not so average builder and that is how I am able to fund my projects fund the kits fund more things now this was a Christmas present and I am extremely thankful the airbrush is okay the compressor is awesome but I can definitely tell that the airbrush has some quirks and those things I'll get used to and this will be a really really good workhorse uh, base coating airbrush I have no doubts about that I just have to get used to it and this is a really good beginner airbrush I'm gonna have to say uh, <laughs> I'm not really good at this because this is my beginner airbrush right here ease of use I give it a 9 out of 10 I've not taken apart the trigger mechanism or anything like that uh, but I have cleaned this, I have used this, and it is overall a decent little airbrush. So, that is all folks. I will see you next time. Bye.